in this pandemic, if makeup went out of like went out and you couldn't find any, would you be comfortable walking around every day in your skin? I have, I have like a giant bag of all the products that I'm currently using for my skincare routine. guys good morning welcome back to another vlog you guys are probably like what are you doing i'm starting off the morning by doing my little skincare routine this is not the official video showing you my routine but i was going to show you guys some a few of the products that i got um i know on this channel there are a lot of women also a lot of women of color and i know that we can sometimes suffer from hyperpigmentation as you guys can see that i am dealing with and i'm dealing with them for a number of reasons but honestly i'm not even going to touch base on it in today's video um one of the biggest things is not touching your face i think that's one of the biggest tips that i could could give you like when you break out in a pimple or something touching your face is a bad idea and that's that's what i struggle with sometimes just like Feeling the need to take care of a pimple as opposed to just leaving it and let it go away on its own. And that said, it definitely leaves for a breakup. Yeah. Anyways, guys, welcome to Mommy Monday. This is what this video is going to be about. And today's video is going to be focusing on some skincare stuff. It's not a routine, but I'm going to show you guys what I recently picked up to take care of my hyperpigmentation. Um, this is something I've battled with for a while. I've had hyperpigmentation here and there. I've had pretty clear skin at points, but then um, it's honestly, it's all kind of started since I had a baby, my first child. I remember just my skin changing and just like things that occurred um, hormonally that never did before so that's where it all began for me and that's where my battle's been so then it progressed into like little things like even just like having hubby take care of stuff at one point i've had like black spots everywhere and it's really just it really just comes down to you get a pimple or something kind of like treat it and don't touch it because when you do touch it and you put your finger and your hands in your face um this is what will happen mine i don't feel like it looks that bad especially right now but when i do film on the other camera because of it's so clear and it's also a little bit harsh i gotta change the setting a little bit it just brings out everything and it makes things look even more amplified so they look even darker on camera but honestly they're not that bad um, and so for the longest time, I wasn't really treating them. I went through a phase where I was simply just using coconut oil on my face and it does do, I don't know, it's not a bad moisturizer. Sometimes I found that it just kind of sat on my skin and it didn't penetrate the skin. Eventually I felt the need to go out and buy another moisturizer, which I'm going to show you. I honestly have, I have like a giant bag of all the products that i'm currently using for my skincare routine i will have a specific haul showing showcasing my actual routine but it's going to be featured on my personal channel if you guys aren't familiar the link is in the description box but this video is going to be me just showing the, the things to you and talking about them so i focus more on the hyperpigmentation because i feel like that's the biggest thing i could if i didn't have that i could just show you my basic routine but my main focus is to alleviate hyperpigmentation and I do have a picture of it to show you what it looked like at the beginning and what it looks like now because I've been doing the skincare routine for going on two weeks and I do want to add some of the products that I bought to try to take care of my hyperpigmentation are very very pricey and I'm actually not sure if it's worth it because I have tried other drugstore stuff that I think works at the same speed. I just didn't know, you know, I went into Sephora and I was trying to find something to help. And of course, I come out with some pricey items and I guess I expected them to work at a, <laughs> at a rapid pace, at a faster rate than the other things that I previously purchased at a drugstore. But honestly, upon using it so far, I can't say that I see a huge difference so anyways i'm gonna stop talking let me go ahead and i'll showcase the stuff and i'll talk to you about it if you've watched any previous skincare routine i don't know what soap i was using at the time because i've gone back and forth between using stuff like this this um 
complexion soap with vitamin E. It says for clear and evenly toned skin. I haven't used that in a while just because I find it to be drying. So I went back to using Cetaphil. Cetaphil? Cetaphil? That's what I use. It says it's for it's an oily skin cleanser. My skin hasn't been oily since like honestly since I've given birth to Zoe. It usually is oily, especially in my T-zone. Last summer I didn't experience any oils whatsoever. So I'm not sure. This says it's for combination to acne prone skin. I'm not sure what my skin is at the current moment. Sometimes I find it kind of drying all of a sudden. So I don't know. We'll see if I have to switch to like just a regular cleanser or I'll stick with that. Following a cleanser, and of course not every night, I do use a blemish scrub. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad and you guys are seeing everything clearly because I do just kind of have my phone propped up over here. It's a St. Ives apricot scrub. Looks like this. And that's just an exfoliator. I don't use it every single day. I try to do it two to three times a week. Just exfoliate away dead skin and help like renew, you know, new skin cells. Then this is where the true steps to actually eliminate hyperpigmentation comes in. I've been using this Clarence double serum and uh, this is like my favorite. I love this stuff. This stuff is pricey. It is like $99 to $120 in Canada. I'm not gonna lie, it lasts a long time. So this is why like upon it coming to an end, I've already went and got my backup because it's approaching there and I don't wanna be without it. it helps to just keep your skin supple and like, I don't know, just make it feel supple and youthful. So I just started using it again. That one I've had for quite some time because I go, like I said, I, I kind of go back and forth and for the longest time I was just, kind of using um, just coconut oil. My routine was so simple. So that's what I use after I wash my face. Then I proceed with the spot corrector. The spot corrector that I'm currently using, it is by Peter Thomas Roth and it is from Sephora. It comes in a little tube like this, <laughs> very small tube. So being that it comes in a small tube, you wanna think like, okay, it's pretty cheap. No, it's not. This stuff retails for like, $80. I know it's ridiculous. It does have a little thing on the front that it reduces dark spot in size by up to 70%. Now I've only been using it for two weeks. I do definitely see a difference, but like I said, I don't think it's much faster than any of the other stuff that I bought at the store before. So because I'm using that, I also had to go out of my way and pick up something. Well, I think it's actually essential to use. I just wasn't using it before. That is sunscreen. And I did pick up this one by La Roche-Posay because it is more, it's formulated more on natural um, derivatives. It's formulated more with natural things as opposed to a lot of chemicals. Because there's so many chemicals in sunscreens today that it's so hard to, um, justify even using it knowing that it's yeah it's going to shield stuff but it's also going to put other things in your body i did get that it's it's spf 60 um and the one thing i liked about this when we tried it in the store is that it just doesn't leave a mask i find that mask sunscreens for dark skin there's they often leave like a mask even though if you're wearing makeup it's not a big deal but the whole point is i want to clear up my skin so i don't necessarily have to wear makeup as often um because i always I, natural is important to me too so and when i am in the sun i want to be sure that your girl is protected so going backwards for a second here after using this baby in the spot treatment i do apply my moisturizer and once again it's the cetaphil stuff because i love this stuff and it works just leaves your skin feeling nice and supple and hydrating you don't need a lot because it is very moisturizing this stuff once again it is drugstore but it's not cheap but i mean it's not high end but because it is one of the better drugstore brands i guess in terms of not having a lot of stuff in it they still do it's not completely pure but because it doesn't have a lot of stuff in it it is still up there in terms of facial moisturizer even though i feel like everything is inflated these days some other things that i do have inside of my skincare routine is this eye cream by la roche posay as well i actually really like this stuff i think it does work um even though i am one that's guilty of sometimes feeling like things are just merely placebos like they just have you thinking it works and because you think it's gonna work it looks like it's working meanwhile it's doing nothing so another thing that i added to my skincare routine is this glow uh what's it called glow spot glow glow 20h dark spot toner 
<laughs> and it's by Ule Hendrickson. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't know how to pronounce that, but that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's supposed to be, it targets dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles. I don't even know how the heck it does that, but it's suggested for us to use this, especially women of color or women, you know, even like uh, women of uh, like darker skin, um, not just women of color, but like Indian women or, you know, Latina women, women who have uh, like more pigments in their skin. I use this at night. It's specified to use this at night. And this is why it's also crucial to use sunscreen because these things that I'm using, these spot correctors, they don't have crazy chemicals in them. They're really um, citric based. So they, the vitamin C is what we're using to help target these dark spots. And because when you go out in the sun, the further exposure of like the sun will, can actually darken those spots while you're using correct, the skin corrector or dark spot corrector, if you are not protecting your skin with a sunscreen. So this is new. I actually really like this. Um, not this at Sephora. You do get a fair amount. It's a toner and this was like 30 bucks, but my everyday toner that I'm actually not out of. I actually just put it in this other. <laughs> I'm confusing, okay? So this is my new everyday toner. This was my previous one, but this Basha one with witch hazel. And this stuff was actually really, really good. I just found that it didn't last that long. So when I went to the beauty supply store, I found this one. And it is with, um, this one is rose water. And I love this stuff. I want to go back and grab a couple of these. And so what I did when it was done is that I filled it in here because this has a spray cap. You can just spray your cotton pads or whatever and wipe your face on the go in the morning. It's really quick for cleaning your face. With this one, I am only using this one at night. Honestly, that's pretty much my skincare routine. But yeah, that's it, guys. Like so far, I've been using this product for a couple like almost a week and a half and I feel like I do see some kind of progress like my skin is clearing up and the thing is because I have this in between skin like my skin's my I'm not exactly light skin but I'm not exactly dark either like you know it's hard to target my I find like it's hard to target skin issues things on me just what they, they just like stand out so bright and it's so frustrating but I do feel like it is going away. This is me like bringing you and showing you my imperfections and how I'm targeting them, basically. Um, and I thought this was a good chat to show on, showcase on Mommy Monday because at the end of the day, we all as women have different things that we deal with. And it's, you know, whether we target it or not, um, I think it's nice to realize that we're not alone. And for me, I know I'm not alone because I do see other women suffer from hyperpigmentation. I like to wear makeup, but I don't want it to be like the cover up. And I always want to be confident in my skin beneath. Like if in this pandemic, if makeup went out, of, like went out and you couldn't find any, would you be comfortable walking around every day in your skin? I would. I would be okay where I'm at right now. And I know it can only get better from here. So I'm only going to. Um, I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing and I'm going to see the progress. If you guys want to follow what my skin's looking like and this journey, head over to my personal channel. It's called Sarah Latouche. Um, and yeah, follow my journey over there. But I think that's it for now because this video is probably going to be heck along. Um, if you want to see exactly how I use these products, like I said, that's where I will have it because it will be more in a step-by-step -step manner as opposed to just like showing it to you guys and what I do. So Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to give it a big like and also share um, these kind of videos if you can. Until next time guys, thank you so much for watching and much love.